war stripped Mohammed Jamal of the life he'd built in Syria. This job as a factory supervisor has allowed him to create a new one in Jordan and restore his dignity. In the beginning, I could not provide the basic necessities of life for my children and my wife. Thank God, now I'm having a decent life. Jamal is one of 30 Syrians, recruited from refugee camps working at El Sanabel. The diaper manufacturer has been hiring Syrians for five years, and they now make up 15% of its workforce. When we started this process, um, it was very obvious that the, the, those, those morals, it, it affect positively to the all-in-all -all environment. What's happening at Al Sanibel and other factories in Jordan could mark a new approach to how the international community assists refugees. Three quarters of a million Syrian refugees are registered in Jordan, which has put a strain on the country. It's struggling with high unemployment and cost of living. The hope is by providing work for refugees, they will contribute to not drain the economy. This will make, uh, let's say, a win-to-win -win situation. Uh, this will offer more job opportunities for Jordanian because some of, uh, some of the employers will come from outside of Jordan and start having their uh, new projects. The government has made it easier and cheaper for Syrian refugees to get work permits and streamlined the process for companies looking to export to the European market. The UN Refugee Agency, UNHCR, has established 11 recruiting centers. Now, more than 95,000 Syrian refugees, mostly men, are working in factories, farms, construction sites, and stores. Abdul Hadi Daba says by working his way up to factory manager, he's now in a position to provide opportunities. It's very good for me. I'm happy because um, I, I can help my people. At El Sanibel, having Syrian refugees as part of the workforce has had another effect. The owner says it's brought a unity and an understanding that everyone, whether a Syrian refugee or a Jordanian, is first and foremost a human being. Natasha Ganem, Al Jazeera, Sahab, Jordan.